Hello. So we are back, and this time we have a Acer Chromebook to, to repair. I mean, not sure if this is a nice laptop, but anyway, we have a Pentium Silver CPU, and uh, the problem with this one, no charging, and they said it's the charging port. This job is coming from a local repair shop, and they gave me another charging port. Of course, my first question is, did you test the USB with a USB meter? And they said no. Okay, let's check together. Why checking with the USB meter? Just to see if indeed is the port or is something wrong with the motherboard. So plug in the charger. And indeed, we don't have the charging light. But check there, the meter is coming on. And for me, it doesn't look like it's a charging port issue. I mean, 5 volts, 500 milliamps, uh, this indicate like a motherboard issue. I will say, let's open quickly the laptop. Wait, here we have another one. We have another port here. Yes, same. 5 volts, 500 milliamps. Good. Let's uh, quickly open the laptop and check inside. And the laptop is open. It has a nice, uh, tiny, sexy motherboard. Now, not sure what should I check because uh, clearly it's not a port issue. Let me unplug the battery. I'm curious if that 500 milliamps is going into the battery. Let's see together. Check that 500 milliamps. You always have to ask yourself, okay, where did my current is going? Huh? Because, like here, it's going on a wrong component, so it's probably shorted. It's not going into the battery. Let me grab the thermal camera, because 500 milliamps is a lot of current. And maybe we can spot something on this side of the board. I mean, 500 milliamps, you can uh, even fill it with your finger. Yeah, here something. Yeah, here something is getting very, very hot. Yeah, I can feel it. Uh, okay, then it's not even point for the thermal camera. Check there. Uh, you can see? So where is it? It's exactly here. And here is nothing. So it's on the other side of the board. Okay, let's take the board out and have a look. Or let's unplug those ribbon cables and test again. It is possible to be like a USB shorted port. No, nah, it's not. Okay. You know, I hate this design. I have to take out the hinge in order to take the motherboard out. Okay, so here is... It's a power supply. Exactly here was getting hot, right? It's a power supply. What did you say? It's, 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 it's a short capacitor? I can't see it. I can see there are pizza and another pizza. Which one it is? Huh? <laughs> Who said easy pizza? Huh? Who said that? Let's check under the microscope. Under the microscope, what we can see? Lol, you know what? Actually, you can't see anything. The capacitors are looking good. And you know what chip is this? It's the one which is providing the LDO voltage. Let me grab the multimeter. So with the multimeter, here is no shorted, and this is the input. So no capacitor. The output is fine. And the LDO voltage has to be in one of these capacitors. This one has 16 ohms. And this one is fine. 16 ohms. Okay, I don't like that. But yeah, yeah, the, the pizza just flew away. Yeah, it's not here anymore. I can't see the pizza. Let's check one more time. Lol, of course the chip is getting proper hot, of course. 
I want to see if the easy chip is getting hot also. You remember we check like 16 ohms, which most likely is the easy chip internal resistance. No, it's not the easy chip. Lol. So we have this chip which is getting hot. And we have something there. What is this? This chip. Yeah, so that chip is shorted. Whatever it is. Let's see. Uh, you know what chip is this? I believe this is some kind of uh, USB uh, interface. I do have this chip, yeah. yeah I found it burn on uh, different laptops. Let's take the chip out like professionals, yeah? I want that chip to be out. And I want every solder ball to be like, you know, made with, uh, with a stencil. So we can solder the the new chip. I mean, it doesn't matter, but anyway, let's try to do it properly. Five hundred degrees, four eighty actually. Perfect. Every solder board. Check there. Check there. Check there. Maybe it's not on focus and you can't see properly, huh? What do you think about that? The chip, check there, every solder ball, it's equal. You can see it? Yeah. We are getting better every day, huh? Now, the question is, do we really need, need that chip? I don't think we need that chip. I don't think we need it. I think the, the board should work even without that chip. Let me cool down the board and let's plug a charger. So now plug in the charger. We have the charging light, check there. And we have 5 volts, 900 milliamps. <laughs> it's even worse than before, it's like 900 milliamps. Yeah, but the CPU is coming on. Still don't understand why we have uh, only 5 volts. Let me plug the board and check. Actually, let me plug the battery and check. I do have the chip, but I'm just curious if the board it will work without that chip. That chip is connected to the chipset. Yeah. So plug in the charger. Check there, 1.2 amps. That means it is charging the battery. 1.3 amps. Well, 2.6 amps, check that, 2.6 amps. Let me put the board back. Yeah, we have just, yeah, a tiny heat sink there. Good, everything is back. So plug in the charger. Let's see if we have any picture. And the board is taking like 900 milliamps. We have no picture. Let me try to power off this one. No, no, no. The board is start. One second. Yeah, the board is start. And still nothing. What my focus is doing? No. You know what? Uh, I didn't expect that. So actually it's not working without that chip. We have no picture. One second. 1.2. We have picture. It's working. Chrome OS is missing or damaged. Wait. Why are you saying that? Let me try the power off and on again. So pressing the power button and
it's not going off. No, it's not going off if we are pressing the power button. And the keyboard, it is plugged in. No, it's not going off. Do you think it's because of our chip? Okay, let's replace the chip. No, it's not even... Uh, uh, I have to replace the chip anyway, because uh, it's their problem to reinstall the operating system. Obviously, this laptop has uh, two different faults. The operating, the operating system probably is here on that flash memory. Yeah, most likely. Okay, let's replace this IC. I'm curious if the fault uh, is because of that chip missing. Uh, I found it, I found it. Yeah, so actually I don't have a second hand one, I have only a brand new one. You can see it there? Yeah, that's the one. Now let's solder the chip quickly. Yeah, so are the same. H1, B3C. H1, B to C. What is the difference? Huh? Yeah, we don't know. But it should be fine, you know, it's black, it's square, so if it's looking like a duck, it's sounding like a duck, so it must be a duck. Yeah, so the chip position is like that. Perfect. And the chip is soldered on place. You can see the chip moving. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, let's test one more time. Let me cool down the board. Now the thing is, I don't remember what's the story with that chip. But from what I remember, it was uh, related with the USB. Yeah, with the USB data, data lines. But yeah, if you know more about this chip, just, you know, leave a comment. And let me know. Good, everything is back in place. Let's plug the battery. Let's plug the charger. I mean, do you think it's not meant to be more than 5 volts here? 2.5 amps, 2.6 amps. It is possible. And what? What was what saying? It was saying, and it's working. That's crazy. Yeah, it's working. So we solder the chip and actually it's working. Why the laptop went off? Okay, I didn't expect that. I didn't expect actually the laptop, uh, it will show like you have corrupt data if that chip is missing. This is new for me. Do you want to activate Chromebox, the built-in screen reader for Chrome OS? No. If so, press the space bar. No, I don't want to do anything.
Okay, I don't know what to say. Just leave me a comment. Yeah, leave me a comment. If you have experience with the uh, with the Chromebook, it's still strange. The voltage is still five volts, but it is charging and working fine. It's taking like two point six amps. So not sure if it's a problem with the PD controller. I'm assuming it's not. I'm assuming this is normal. But I can be wrong. No, well, actually, I am wrong. Check there, fourteen volts. Does mean that port is faulty? Can be faulty, right? Because here we have 14 volts, and that's normal, 14 volts. 5 volts is not really normal. Yeah, 5 volts is not okay. Well, at least one port is working. This uh, job already goes over the budget, like one pizza in a slice, yeah? So I'm getting half of the money from the repair. Spoke with them yesterday, they gave me the port and said, sorry, make the job to be 60, that's mean 30. I'm getting 30 pounds for this job. And the chip I sold there was like 15, if I remember. So, yeah. I think the, the customer, it will be happy just having a USB port. Perfect. We learned something today. We learned something. I didn't actually know the laptop, it will not work without that chip. And actually, HB2, it's same like HB3. Looks like you can uh, use HB2. I'm not going to check for the data sheet. I'm not even sure if I can find something like that. But yeah, if you have more info, just, you know, leave a comment. I'm going to stop here. I will say thank you for watching. You know, like, subscribe if you like the video, and uh, see you on the next one. Bye. Hey, if you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button, and you can get instantly access to our uh, members only cool collection and uh, Discord private channels for support with your repairs. Also, you can have a look on our uh, United Kingdom uh, eBay, where you can find some cool and unique products, United States eBay store, or our Patreon page. Thank you.